Hi dears, welcome back. The Russia-Ukraine conflict is a major security crisis in the Eurasian region with the potential to escalate into a much broader conflict. Ukraine is a country wedged between Russia and Europe. Why is there tension between Russia and Ukraine? What are the historical connections? From 1654, the two were united by treaty under the rule of the Russian Tsar. They speak closely related languages. When the Tsar's empire collapsed after the revolution led by Lenin, the Ukrainians created a state of their own and declared independence in January 1918. But it turned out to be short-lived as the Bolsheviks took control over most of Russian Ukraine in 1920. With the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991, Ukraine became an independent state. A referendum on the Act of Declaration of Independence was held in Ukraine on 1 December 1991. The majority of voters approved the Declaration of Independence. Leonid Kravchuk, leader of the Ukrainian Socialist Soviet Republic, declares independence from Moscow. In presidential election, Ukrainians elected Kravchuk as president. The source of the tensions comes down to Ukraine's separation from the Soviet Union and ties with the West. As part of the Soviet Union, Ukraine was the second most powerful Soviet Republic after Russia. Since declaring independence in 1991, Ukraine has been divided, and this crisis is an extension of that. When people talk about this divide, they typically refer to language. About two-thirds of Ukrainians speak Ukrainian as their native language, mostly in the country's west. About a third are native Russian speakers, mostly in the east. People in the west of Ukraine tend to regard Russia with suspicion, see themselves as European, and want to break away from Russia's orbit to join Europe. On the other hand, the eastern half of Ukraine has voted in favor of political candidates who are more sympathetic to Russia. Since Ukraine split from the Soviet Union, both Russia and the West have vied for greater influence in the country in order to keep the balance of power. Russian President Putin is keen to regain control of the country's former territories. His favored pro-Russian candidate Viktor Yanukovych was elected as Ukraine's president in 2010. The crisis reached a boiling point when on 21 November 2013, Viktor Yanukovych suspended an agreement with the European Union. It led to a series of protests from those who supported the agreement with the European Union. This in turn led to a series of unrest in the eastern and southern regions of Ukraine. The protests, largely focused around Kyiv's Medan Square, turn violent. Dozens of protesters are killed. In February, Parliament votes to remove Yanukovych. Soon a political crisis plunged Ukraine into chaos, with the pro-European Union and pro-Russian factions fighting it out against each other for control of Ukraine. Fearing a rise in Western influence in Ukraine, Russia decided to intervene by seizing Crimea, which had previously been part of Ukraine. The Black Sea is located between Eastern Europe and Western Asia. The Black Sea is also connected to the Sea of Azov by the Strait of Kerch. After Crimea's annexation, Russia gained control over both sides of the Kerch Strait. In May 2018, Russian opened a bridge over the Kerch Strait, which has also become the physical gateway to the Sea of Azov. Later, the Ukrainian vessel's attempt to travel from the Black Sea to the Sea of Azov was denied by the Russian Coast Guard. As a result, both the US and the European Union have pledged to safeguard the integrity of Ukraine's borders. How did the crisis start? Since the Cold War ended in the early 1990s, North Atlantic Treaty Organization NATO has expanded eastward by taking in 14 new countries, including some that were part of the Soviet Union. Russia views this as a threat. Ukraine has ambitions to join NATO, 
which President Putin sees as a direct threat to Russia's power in the East. After a pro-Russian president was removed in 2014, Ukraine has come closer politically to the West. It has done joint military exercises with NATO and been delivered weapons including US anti-tank missiles. This, according to Ukraine, has been done to boost Ukraine's defense after Russia annexed the Crimea region in 2014. The real crisis began when Russia told Western powers, including the US, that it had a list of demands. Russia wants a guarantee from the West in writing to stop any further eastward expansion of NATO. Why does Putin care if Ukraine joins NATO? NATO was founded in 1949 to protect against Soviet aggression. The treaty states that if one nation is invaded or attacked by a third party, all nations in NATO will collectively mobilize in its defense. The Kremlin is demanding guarantees from NATO that Ukraine would not join the alliance. The Biden administration and NATO allies say Putin can't deny Ukraine that right. The United States and other NATO allies rejected these demands and have warned Russia of retaliation if Ukraine is invaded, including economic sanctions, and other assistance has been deployed to Ukraine, including defensive weaponry. Moscow has strongly criticized the US and its NATO allies for providing Ukraine with weapons and holding joint drills. Russia has stationed troops along its border with Ukraine, increasing suspicion that an invasion is imminent. The only way ahead is via peaceful conversation for a long-term solution that is agreeable to all parties. We need to watch out the developments and needs to see how other countries respond to this crisis. I would like to stop this discussion over here. If you liked the video, please share and do subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.